All right, so today hopefully I'm going to help you with your uh, Halo Infinite game. This will also work for any other Xbox Game Studios games that are on uh, Windows 10 PC, like Forza Horizon, uh, Halo, uh, you know, Master Chief Collection, all of those games that are made by Xbox. Um, so let's just jump right in. Uh, first off, what you're going to want to do is go down to Start, hit your Settings right here, and then Gaming and then Xbox networking and then this is going to run some checks to make sure that it's working and it's able to communicate with the Xbox uh, Live servers you don't actually have to have an Xbox Live subscription on PC but okay this says open and server connectivity connected that's good in your case you probably you might see unqualified and not able to connect you might see a variety of different things mine's already fixed so it's going to say different stuff for me so if yours is saying not qualified here, I'm going to show you a couple things that you can do to help fix that. First, we're going to go right down here to our networking panel, open network and internet settings, change adapter options. This uh, port right here is the one that I'm using for my ethernet properties, right click properties. You're going to want to make sure that uh, IP version 4 is checked on. I'm going to double click it and I have mine obtain I IP address automatically. If you have a DHCP server on your router, uh, it'll automatically get an IP address. And then you want to have IP version 6 right here checked as well. And then this one as well, I'm doing uh, obtain an IP address automatically. If you don't want know what that means, then don't worry about it. It's probably uh, not going to be your issue. Okay, so I'm going to close out of that. We just have to make sure that IP version 4 and IP version 6 are actually. Uh, available on our computer. So next what we're gonna do is I'm gonna go down here I'm, I'm gonna press and hold the Windows key and press R. So Windows R that'll give you this run command you're gonna type gp edit dot m m s c press enter and then you're gonna go here to administrative templates that's gonna be under your uh, confu uh, computer configuration administrative templates network TCP IP settings, IP version 6 transition technologies, and then all of these settings right here could be part of your issue. Um, so I'm going to start off here. Uh, the client port, you should click enabled on this one and set it so that it's always on 3544. I'll get into that later, uh, what that actually means if you're not sure what's going on there set Torito default qualified this you're gonna want to leave on enabled click apply press OK set Torito refresh rate the default for this I think is 30 seconds if you're having some issues you might want to try lowering this a bit I have mine at 10 seconds and I haven't ever had any pro uh, problems set Torito server name this other guides might tell you that you need to change this but it's actually not required because Windows actually does have their own server name for this still active so you don't have to mess with this just uh, so you know that if, 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 if you've watched another guide or whatever and they've had you change the server name go ahead and just uh, click not configured and leave that one alone so that it's at its default state and then last but not least uh, we have ter set Teredo state you're going to want to set this to enabled and then click it over here set it to enterprise client click apply press ok and then what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to reboot your computer after you've done that obviously come back to the video and then uh, you're going to want to check this again actually before you even come back to the video you might not need to come back just go back to your xbox gaming and then hit your xbox networking again do another check on this it's going to do its thing and then what you might see here is you might see qualified or hopefully you're seeing something that's not giving you an indication of errors if that didn't work you might want to try clicking fix it here sometimes that works for people sometimes it doesn't if you don't feel like doing that uh, just keep on watching this video and I'll help you with some more stuff okay so next after you've done all of that um, let's assume that yours did not say that it was qualified. It's still having issues connecting uh, to the Xbox Live servers. 
Okay, so next what we have to do is we have to get into our router settings. I'm going to show you how to do that. Windows CMD, enter. That's going to open the command prompt. You're going to type IP config, enter. And then here's what you're going to need. Default gateway, okay? That's your actual router address. You're going to highlight it, control C to copy. Close out of that, we don't need it anymore. And then you can just go ahead and paste that right into your browser. Press enter. Now here's what it might tell you is warning potential risk ahead. Since we know that this is our actual router, we control it. It's safe. Press advanced. And then accept the risk and continue. On different browsers, that prompt might be different. Uh, inside your router, uh, you might need to go to a different panel. What you're, wanna what you're gonna want to find is wherever your particular router has settings for port forwarding. And then what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna add all of these ports that I have listed right here. Go ahead and pause the video, write these down, and you wanna just uh, uh, forward all of these ports to the IP address of the computer that you're currently using. If you don't know your current IP address, you, here's what you do. Windows CMD and then might might be necessary to run as administrator it might not uh, and then I'm just gonna type IP config and then what that's gonna do is that's gonna give you your IPv4 address that's your local address that you need to enter right in here so you can highlight this press control C and you can copy that and then you could just paste it right in here <coughs> and you're gonna wanna do that for every single one of these entries. Similarly, there's different protocols for actually um, translating all this networking information and opening these ports. So again, you're gonna wanna make sure that you copy all of those as well. So you're basically gonna want to open a port from this port to this port, and you're gonna wanna forward it to the address of the computer that you're actually gonna be playing the game on. So basically what this step is gonna do is it's just gonna help uh, if, your, if your router has some firewall policies that are dropping all of this traffic to all these different ports that are necessary for Xbox Live services and stuff like that, by entering all of these ports here, you're going to be allowing it to communicate with Xbox Live servers. Okay, So click apply, maybe you might have to reboot your, uh, you might have to reboot your router, Do a go ahead and go to that Xbox, um, sorry, that uh, Xbox gaming networking stuff and then just run another check right here after every single tip I give you and then after that you can stop obviously next what we're gonna wanna do press Windows R to, to pull up the run command again and then we're gonna go services dot msc this will help us uh, get access to all the different services that we have running on our computer there's a couple of these that you're gonna have to check uh, here's some of the ones that I know of um, IP helper is very important. You're going to want to have that running. So you can just double click it and then it's going to pop this up. Your startup type should be uh, startup type should be automatic. And then uh, if it says that it's running down here, basically you don't have to mess with any of the settings and you can just click cancel. But make sure that's on to automatic and then click apply. Okay. Another one that you're really going to want to make sure that you check is the different gaming services right here for um, for the Xbox game bar and all the different gaming services so again just double click these make sure that they're running so yeah these are running okay after that you can just move on to the next tip alright so this next tip is to check the um, devices that you have on your computer you just uh, you can right click the uh, Windows bar right there device manager go into your device manager and then you're going to want to see network adapters. Inside your network adapters you're going to want to make sure that you don't see anything that says um, that says Teredo. If you have a VPN installed on your computer you might want to uninstall one of these network adapters for your VPN because that might be preventing some of the traffic. If you see something that says Teredo go ahead and right click and uninstall that as well. Reboot the computer and then hopefully you'll get up-to-date drivers for that uh, particular uh, networking device. This is probably more of a niche issue but I see it mentioned a lot and if you want further detail I'll go ahead and add some links to uh, articles that I've found that talk about this type of step but generally I don't have much experience with it because it didn't personally help me. Alright so if your game is still not working let's 
let's just uh, I'm gonna go ahead and assume that your Xbox networking panel that I showed you in the settings there is has checked your connectivity and is saying that it's qualified and that you're able you're able to access the Xbox Live servers okay I'm assuming that that's what's happening if you have it say qualified and it's still not working you still get into your game and it's still not working and you're kind of questioning yourself like it says that I'm qualified why can't I get in here's a couple of tips that I promise you you probably won't have heard anywhere else okay first one is that you're gonna want to update all of your Microsoft Xbox apps into the in the Microsoft Store so the Microsoft Store is where they have a lot of the uh, gaming apps and stuff you might even just have to run some updates on those they might be out of date so see this one Xbox right here that's an important one that you need to have installed on your computer so if you don't have it installed go ahead and install it and then you're gonna have to open that app and log in to your uh, Xbox Live account maybe you might want to uh, re uh, sorry you might want to update Xbox console companion the Xbox game bar plugin Xbox live in-game experience Xbox game bar there's a ton of these identity provider like look there's a ton of these uh, little gaming apps that are in your uh, that are in your library right here on your computer the Xbox one is probably the most important one but I think if you're if you're already here, just go ahead and bang all these out and make sure that you have all the latest updates on those. After that, here's what actually here's what actually fixed it, like legit fixed it for me. I previously had gone into my Microsoft account and messed with all of my settings. All right, so this next tip is the hardest read in all of the fix it tutorials that I've ever seen and this actually relates to your actual Microsoft account so what you're gonna wanna do is go to account.microsoft.com sign in and then what you're gonna need to do is go into your privacy dashboard right here inside your privacy dashboard you might have certain crucial settings unchecked up on the Xbox platform over there click Xbox and you might have some of these um, you might have some of these unchecked if you don't want to do it go ahead and click everyone for all of these but if you care about your privacy make sure you read them and pay attention and use your judgment and kinda guess whether or not it's going to impact your ability to play online or not one of the ones that I think was absolutely crucial for me to turn back on because these were all set to block uh, one of the ones that I uh, feel like was probably very important to get back online let me see if I can find it you can play with people outside of Xbox Live that was a huge one right there um, there's a couple of these other ones that just like I said just read these you can join multiplayer games that's huge read these make sure that the crucial ones are set to accept after you do that I'm pretty sure it's gonna fix your your ability to get back online another thing you might have to do after you went into your Microsoft account and changed all those privacy settings that we talked about you might have to go into your Xbox um, into your Xbox app right here and just go ahead and sign out and sign back in after you've done that you launch the games and it's still not working I'm sorry but like I'm, I'm completely out of ideas because I've researched this topic for literally like two weeks and these are every single find that I can think of if these didn't do it Go ahead and leave me a comment below and I might be able to help you out.